Elizabeth was born in February of 1818 in Dinwiddie, Virginia. Armistead Burrell was her owner as well as her father. But, you know, here she was, a complete anomaly. They didn't know who Eunice Johnson was. They didn't know what Ebony Magazine was. You know, as far as they were concerned, African Americans had no money. My name is James Bono. Simple as that. I call myself Lucky Jim. Because at 91, I'm still kicking. I come from Ghana, and I've been a photographer almost all my working life. Williams was discovered by Lena Horn when she was 17 and began working for African-American magazines such as Ebony and Jet. That guy with the hair. What about him? I just bumped into him. I don't want your ears standing up straight because you look as if you have a fright. Now we've got to go on to the bunny dip, which is what we use when we serve a customer. This isn't just photography, it actually stands for a social movement and change that he was bringing about at the age of 18. One of the things that he has always been about was about the liberation of people in the African diaspora and also just being able to be your natural and true self. So it's a, for him it's about the empowerment of being naturally who you are. A community of other women who are going to stand in the gap with you. These are women with fuller features, thicker lips, wider noses, features that the mainstream beauty industry was telling black women weren't beautiful. My mom actually started working with David professionally first. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's how it started, and then it turned into some sort of mysterious romance. Bet Live come around, throwing up the big flags and things like that. Like, these are the things that used to inspire us. We was inspiring each other. 